so I had to resort to my GoPro to do this video because my Sony will not charge right so and I want to get this video done so hi this is Marion and I am today making for you a zucchini casserole uh, zucchini lasagna sorry and here are the ingredients zucchini I have four good size ones mozzarella cheese I prefer this over the bag kind because there's potato starch in the bag already um, shredded so I get this and it's full whole milk mozzarella which means that when you get the low the skimmed or the low um, the low moisture one there's more moisture in it so I got those next is regatta cheese I put two eggs in this not the whole carton half of it beat it up and it helps hold the casserole or the lasagna together I use Rayo's sauce because it is three sugars and uh, four carbs per serving so or per half a cup so that's much easier on your um, weight, um, ketogenic diet and I have ground beef and pork blend so I'll fry this up I'll take out uh, empty out the grease and then I will um, assemble the zucchini so right now I am going to show you what I do I hope this is gonna show so this is the um, apparatus I use to um, slice the zucchini and you have to be very careful because this is very sharp I've already cut myself once and I don't want to do it again so my first job here is to slice I want to get that green off as much as I can so I'm slicing it on the very um, thinnest one and um, I just want to get a little bit of it off so then I'm going to put it up on the biggest one now because I want it to be thick like regular lasagna so here's this is how it goes and this is what it's going to be uh, look like this and I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to let it dry because zucchini as you know is very very moist it's got a lot of moisture so I am going to very carefully finish slicing up the zucchini and I will be back to show you the next step okay this is what it looks like when you get it all finished I'm only going to do two zucchini because they're very very large so that's done I'm going to let that uh, sit out under the <laughs> sorry about that and um, under that fan up there and um, so the next thing I'm going to do is brown up this meat right here and I will be back so I've decided to use a bigger dish here uh, because I didn't think all this would um, go in the smaller pan so I have two eggs in this bowl and to that I'm going to add my, uh, regatta cheese I have the um, hamburger and, and pork over here um, getting ground up so okay right now and then I've got the mozzarella ready to shred and it's not the easiest thing to do to shred the mozzarella cheese I'll tell you that right now but it's worth it because it's better quality all right so I'm gonna put half of this regatta cheese in this container 
in this bowl. You notice how professional I am with the knife instead of having a spoon. Oh well, nobody said I was Mr. Mrs. Chef. Alright, and I'm going to stir this up and if this is too much egg, I'll just add a little more ricotta cheese in it. Okay, I will be back when I get this thing ready to assemble. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start to um, put this in the pan. And I'm going to start out with a cup of Rayo's homemade tomato basil sauce, which has um, four grams of carbohydrates per, per half a cup. So this is eight grams. And hopefully, I'm not going to use a whole cup, but who knows. So I'm going to assemble it by showing you what I'm doing the first um, the first part. So first I put a, a little bit of the sauce on the bottom of the pan. Then um, my zucchinis have dried out pretty good. So I'm just going to lay them down like so. And um, hopefully see if I can get some that actually fit in the pan properly. If not, I'll just use a little bit of edges and ends. So, just move things over a little bit. And that's how this is going to work. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm going to put a little more of the sauce in here. And get that kind of smooth over. And every little piece of zucchini gets a little bit of sauce. Hold on, I'm going to get the um, um, parmesan. And this parmesan is, um, the parmesan is whole parmesan that I got at Costco and I put it in the, uh, the blender, the Nutribullet, and so it's all ground up nicely. And I like this, it's just another added flavor here. So that's that, and then I'm going to get the, bur the hamburger, or the ground beef and sausage, and I am going to sprinkle that all over this first layer. Okay, then, whoa, almost threw that on the floor, uh, a little bit of mozzarella. I'm going easy with the cheese as much as I hate to do it because there's um, a lot of carbs when you eat a lot of cheese. And then I'm going to put in the um, regatta cheese. And this is how I do this. I dollop it like that and pretty much get it covered. Hopefully this is going to be um, 10 carbs or less per portion, but we'll see. I'm trying to figure that out, but I, I'll figure it out after. Mm, good. All right. So, next I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to do the layers until I'm done. And if there's not enough of the zucchini, I'll just um, slice up some more. I'll be back. Okay, I'm taking you over here to see the finished product.
product right here. I did empty some of the juice off, but this is what it looks like up close and personal. And there is the bottom or the uh, sides. So there you go. And my son-in-law will have a little piece when he gets home and I'll let you know what he says. So the moment of truth is when Tim, my son-in-law, tastes the zucchini. Good eye. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes it's good so we're good to go all right so that's it for this cooking segment I hope you enjoyed it and um, don't forget to thumbs up the video don't forget to comment below and be kind to one another it's a tough world out there I will see you again with my next video bye